Hi, hello. I'd like to welcome you to this introduction in which I will be showing you how to use this application for embedding translation into your ebooks. I first got to the idea of making this project when I started to learn to speak German language. After a period of time, I realized that that there's a lot of when I start to when I read an ebook in German that there's a lot of words I'm unfamiliarized with, and I kept jumping from this from this ebook to ebooks to uh, finding words online, and this was a really slow and irritating process. So I wanted to make a project in which you could upload the TXT Unicode. Uh, document or a PDF based document and get back an HTML document that could be viewed offline in any browser and with the capability so that when I click on the word I see this translations right away uh, together with the text page capability so that I could hear the native word the way it sounds so right now you're watching it at this tool that I've created and uh, it's really easy to use. Uh, so basically, what you do, you you select you select a word, you select a document. In this case, I'll be taking, for example, this Unicode TXT. It's an ordinary TXT file. That this is a, an ebook that's written in German. Uh, what you do then, you select you select a combination of languages for translation. This ebook is in German, and I want to see the translations in English and I simply click upload so the application is right now doing its job uh, uh, there are no so uh, the very important thing is that the best the best browser for viewing this document would be Google Google's Chrome you can view it in any uh, in any other uh, web browser but the Google Chrome has the best text-to-speech capabilities So what we're taking a look look right now is the same is the same uh, ebook, but in this time when we click on the word, we'll have this translation, and we'll have we can see the and we can hear the pronunciation as well. The very important thing is that all of these features are there uh, offline, so you don't need any internet connection. To, to be to, to be using these capabilities if we find after some period of usage if we find this irritating uh, this pronunciation we can yeah. di disable it here we have here a slight spelling slight spelling spelling error not a big deal so we can exclude exclude by using this checkbox here so it's a pretty straightforward process so I'll be showing you now an example of, of uploading a PDF based ebook. Uh, I have here this neo 4 graph database ebook. I will now choose to translate it to the Russian language. So let's say I'm a Russian and I'm not that good in English and I need to see your words of you what they really mean. So I'll click upload. Again, we will open it by using Google's Chrome browser. And we we'll get the same document. But this time when we click on the word, we have the translation. Hope this means the same thing in Russian. <laughs> and of course, we will also be able to hear the the way it sounds so more or less that would be all for me uh, one thing to say is that there's a slight limitation of the size but again not I hope this will not be an issue to the 50 megabytes this is a limitation to the si to the size of the document the application is totally free to use and I hope you will find this. I hope you will find this uh, a great tool, a great tool to for for learning to speak new language and so on. 
So have a nice day and hope you, hope you find it amusing to use this application.